Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the cowboy booties. This is for newborns to about three months and these are adorably cute and they got a little mock heel on them. They got the build up. They got a little bit of decoration and this is quite awesome. So today I have the full pattern for you that I've written and I also have some more instructions and as far as diagram formats for you today as well. For today's tutorial you only need one ball of Karen Simply Soft for one color and Karen Simply Soft for another and the, you have a heel color and then you have a main color and then the same color and the heel is used for the decoration on the side. So it's just one ball of each color for a pair of cowboy booties. Also need a four millimeter size G crochet hook in order to play and this is what the bottom of the sole looks like and we're gonna start off here and we're gonna work our way in a continuous round. This here is a stitch marker to indicate how to build it up so you, that you can watch it. This is pretty standard for for a baby sole on a booty itself and then once we get this done then we're going to then move up to the side of the boot. So it's really quite easy to maintain. So to do this pattern I strongly recommend you either get a stitch marker or just a spare piece of yarn and then you're going to mark this because it's easier to have this marked as you're going instead of having to obsessively count all the time. So without further ado let's uh, move on to the instructions. This is gonna be quite a lengthy tutorial. There's lots of steps involved but hopefully you enjoy it all the same. This set of instructions is available through our website. See the more information link and you can have access to all the stuff that I'm showing to you on camera. So we're going to start off with the chain and then we're gonna work our way back around and this shows you the indication of what we need to do. We also have a stitch key marker on things to be able to follow. It's so much easier to follow this as we're going along. So just as an indication I put a stitch marker in on the second round here right in this half double crochet so that I was able to see where I need to break it off in order to go into the future. So that's something that if you have tips and ideas in order for you to be able to follow then it's awesome. So you're going to notice that we're gonna use back loop single crochets on a certain round. This will be the last round and this is actually what forms the outside of the heel as well. So I'm going to be following this to the key, uh, to the letter in order to be able to make it today. So without further ado let's grab our yarn now and let's start the bottom of the sole. So let's begin. I've just switched off to using a blue. It's easier to, for you to see here on camera. So I'm going to create a slip knot and I want to chain a total of 12. So put this on and let's chain 12 together. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And that's your starting chain right here. So as we go in round number one we're going to start and we're gonna work our way down the chain and then when we get to the end we're gonna put so many stitches in there so that's gonna cause you to wanna rotate and come around the other side of this chain. So we're gonna create a, a full circle at this moment. So we're going to go second chain from the hook. So count it back. So one and two and second chain back. Just turn it over and get the back loop only of the chain. It's just easier and you're going to put in one single crochet. So move down the chain and put one single crochet in each of the next seven. So let's count those out together. So we have one and two this is three four five six and seven right here. So if you get the seventh in there should be three stitches left on the chain. So let's count it. We can see that there's three left. So now we're gonna get a little bit bigger as we go towards the front of the boot. There is no left or right so both booties are the same and for a child it really doesn't matter at this particular age because they're really not walking with them. It's more showing than anything. So the next one you're going to put in a half double crochet into the chain and now the next chain we're going to put two half double crochets into uh, that one. So let's put two. So one and two and the very final chain you are going to put a total of five in here. That's gonna cause it to wanna rotate around and you're gonna come and work down this other side here. So in the final chain put in five half double crochets. So let's count those out together. So we have one and two, three, four and five. So you can see it just caused it to do a full circle. This is the front of the booty. So now we're gonna come around to the other side. So this is part of the first chain. So what we have to do is we have to come 
to the next chain that's available to you right where I'm pinching with my thumb. And now you're going to do, do everything backwards to what you already saw. So last time when we started before this one we put in two half double crochets. So you're going to put in two half double crochets now into this chain. So one and two and noticing I'm going up over top of that straggler to bury it into position so it's completely gone. So you have two into that one. The next one there will be one half double crochet in there. And now the remaining that you have left will all be single crochets. So the single crochets at the very end is that you're gonna work your way down at the very end. So the next seven will all be single crochets. So let's count those that together. So we have one and two This is three, four, five, six, and seven right here. And the very last one you want to put in two single crochets to finish this off. So you're gonna go one, and two and you're going to join it to the beginning single crochet that's right over here. So just go up over there and just join it with a slip stitch. And that was your first round. So it should almost look like a spoon where it's narrow on one side and more fatter in the front of the foot for next. So let's move along to round number two. So let's begin round number two. We're going to chain up one and in the very first one you're going to put in two single crochets into that one. So let's do that. So one and two. So the next ten in a row will each be single crochets. So let's do that. So we're gonna count. So one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And get that stitch marker ready because the next one we want to use it. So the next one that we're going to put two single crochets into the same one. So put two into this one. So one and two and just pull up a loop and just let it drop. So what you wanna do is, do is count one, two. Okay, so one, two and then just go to the second one and you wanna put that stitch marker in there. This will help you indicate where it is next time for the increase. This is just more of a technique to make it easier for you. So let's continue to move all the way around. So the next one is going to be one single crochet into it. So one and then the next one is gonna be two single crochets and this is the very front of the boot. So one and two So now that the top front is done the next one will be one single crochet and then the next one will be two single crochets. So one and two and as per the instructions you just put one single crochet right after it. So now the next nine in a row will all be single crochets. So let's just do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The next one will have two single crochets in it. So one and two and the very last one right there will be one single crochet. And then you're just going to slip stitch it to the top. It's gonna look like it's far away but it's really not. So just slip stitch it to the top of the first single crochet that you started with to bring that to a conclusion. So that's what it looks like at this moment. So let's move on to round number three. So let's move on to round number three. We're going to chain up one and right in this first one you're going to put in two single crochets. So one and two. This is the last, last growth for this particular um, sole. So this is the last time you're growing it at the bottom. So the next eleven in a row will each be single crochets. So let's count those out. So one and two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And do you see where that stitch marker is? This is to prove it to you. So the stitch marker if you're doing the other half if you put that stitch marker in you really did not have to count out that 11 but that's the start for the growth for this final round or the final top. So then right where the stitch marker is there's gonna be two single crochets. So one and two. The next one will be by itself. So just one single crochet. The next one will be two single crochets. One and two. The next two in a row will each be one single crochet each. So this is the very front of the boot. So one and the next one and one. Uh, next one is by itself as well. So there's your two in a row. The next one is two single crochets into the same one. So one and two. The next one is one by itself. And the very final one of the growth is two into the same one. So let's count it then going down the other side. So we're just going to continue along and we wanna make sure that we get that one. So we just put one more single crochet in and then we are going to then just um, count our way down to the other side. So let's do that. So it's gonna be 11 in a row. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now the next one is going to be um, two into the same one. So let's do that. So one and two, and the very last one is going to be one by itself. And then you just slip stitch it and join it to the very first single crochet that you had started with. So that is the very bottom of your sole and now we're going to now create the ridges to go up onto the side. So let's begin to do that next. So to finalize your sole you're gonna have a nice line that goes around the base of the sole and we're gonna do that next. So you're just gonna chain up one and you might wanna count the number of stitches to make sure that you have 39 but uh, that's completely up to you. So starting in the back loop only. So if you're new to crochet there's two strands. The first strand is considered the front loop and the back strand is considered the back loop so it's further away from you. So starting in the very first one you just go into the back loop only and you want a single crochet and you're gonna do a single crochet in each of the back loops going all the way around. You don't need to worry about um, having to um, count if you don't really want to but there is 39 and once you get all the way back around you'll see that there's gonna be a line and this allows the boot to bend at the base. So just do one single crochet in each of the back loops all the way around. Once you get your 39th in then you're just going to slip stitch it to the top of the first single crochet that you had and that, I'll close it off and you'll see it kind of bubble inward. This is the outside of your boot. This is the interior. So what I want you to do is that I want you to take your time and just fasten off this yarn. So let's get rid of this all together. So we're just gonna pull that loop through. I've already cut it and I wanna place this into a darning needle because it's for a baby. You wanna take good care of your ends. Now if you buried that one in the middle as you went then you pretty well you don't have to use a darning needle but if you have to use a darning needle at any point just glide it up on the inside of the boot. So this is the inside that I'm looking at now and I'm just dragging the yarn through some stitch work on the inside of the boot making sure that when I pull it I'm not warping anything and just go in, in and out a total of three times. If you see the needle go out to the back side at all you've gone too deep. Okay so if I see the needle passing through the outside then I know it's too deep. So one. So this is my second and I wanna go the third time one more time across. So now that's officially gone into position. I can cut it right down. I did bury this as I went but if you haven't then what you can just do is that just use a darning needle and go back and forth three times. So this is what the outside sole looks like. So this line here is actually the side of the booty working its way up. You just can't see it yet but because you went in the back loop it'll force the bend that happens on the booty. So let's continue. 
So using a stitch marker we wanna make the heel. So we have to look at the very base of the, the bottom. So this is really kind of more eyeing it up than anything. And what I want you to do is that I want you to count from the base. Okay, and I want you to use this line here as your, your marking line to play. So don't use the outside. So we just wanna start off with the middle. So I'm just gonna start off the middle and I'm gonna count six. So don't count the middle one. So I'm gonna count these lines. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you get to the sixth one, just take that stitch marker and just pull it through there. So we're creating the heel right now. Okay, now what you can do, you can either go back to the middle one and count six up the other side or just total and do a, <laughs> a total count of 13. So one, so count the, the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 13. So now's the time to look at it. So if you don't think it's balanced right now, now's the time to make that decision if it's not balanced. Okay, so that's what it looks like going straight across. Okay, so if you think that it's not right, now's the time to change it. So if you think you have to go down one in order to do it, that's gonna be completely up to you. I think it's actually pretty close. And what I wanna do now is that I want to apply just one line to build up the heel. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grab our yarn and just don't create any slip knots because it's really obvious when you do that. You're going to go into the very first one that has the stitch marker. And you're just gonna put the loop on. Just like you see. And what you want to do then is you, you want to um, do one single crochet into the same loop. So chain up one to lock it and do one single crochet into that same one. I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so we're just gonna do one single crochet in there. I'm gonna worry about that loose end after, like the straggler. Now the rest of them, except for the very last one, is all gonna be half double crochets. So just going into that next one, okay. It's just a line. You're going to do a half double crochet. So let's, I'm not gonna really count it. I'm just gonna use the stitch markers to be my indication. So this is giving you what appears to be a heel. Remember the booty is more for decoration than it is for practical use. So I'm just doing one into each one of those lines going all the way to the other side. Some of the lines especially as you pass over the, the beginning. Um, like where you've done the slip stitching can be a little bit tight but other than that not a deal breaker. So as you come around to the last one that has the stitch marker that one will be a single crochet and then fasten that off. So what I wanna do is I wanna use my techniques that I just showed you of uh, being able to hide in the loose ends. So just grab a darning needle and with both of them just drag this yarn through the heel area and you can remove out the stitch marker as well and there's what the heel would look like. So let's uh, continue just weaving your ends and then we'll continue on working on the sides of the boot. So on my diagram we're going to now go from the outside here and we're going to be able to work our way around. And as you can see that there's gonna be two um, double crochets together in order to bring things together at the front of the top of the foot. And here at the back we just wanna make sure that we're maintaining exactly what we see. So we're really kind of really concentrating on getting that front to be able to fold over. So what you have to just do is that you have to locate the very back of the, of the booty. So right here the heel Okay, is showing you exactly what you're looking at. So when you go to join them, you're going to be joining it so that it looks like this. So you, you wanna go to the very back one. So just eye it up as good as you can get it and put in your stitch marker and say that's the very back one right there. Okay, so you wanna get it as close as possible to being accurate. So let's uh, do that and let's join our yarn and let's begin the next round. So let's start our next color. I'm gonna create a slip knot to begin and right where I've labeled where the back one is I'm just going to attach that yarn to the actual stitch. And notice how I'm, the angle that I'm working at. Okay, so the heel should be right in front of you. Chain up one and do one single crochet into that same one. Now bury in that straggler at the same time. So just go right up over top of it. Just hold it down and just go right up over it. And for this round all you're just going to do is just one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. Okay, so just put one single crochet in each and then maybe at the end of this round. So really not much to do in this round other than just crochet. Okay, so get that straggler out of the way once you bury it enough and just carry on. 
when you get back around just make sure you slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet that you'd had. You just make sure that you ended up with 39 stitches all the way around and just double count and make sure that you get that so that it will work out for the remaining of the pattern. So let's, so let's start number two. So round number two. So we're gonna chain up one and do one single crochet into the first one and then the next uh, 13 in a row. So this one plus the next 13 gives you 14. So this is one. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So once you get the 14 in you're gonna skip the next one and you're going to do a half double crochet the second one over. Skipping the next one and you're going to put two half double crochets in a row. So the next one will be one half or sorry two double crochet. So it's gonna be one double crochet in the next one and then the next one after that is one double crochet. Now the next two in a row that's right at the front of the foot will be two ha uh, double crochets together. So just wrap the hook going into the next one pull through, pull through two and hold it and then go into the next one after it going in, pull through, pull through two and hold and then pull through all three. So that's two together for double crochet. The next two are, are two double, are <laughs> the next two are one double crochet each. So one and two. So it's exactly what we've done on the other side. Skip one, do one half double crochet, skip one and then start your single crochets going down the other side. Okay, so there will be a total of 13 in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13 and then once you get your 13 in just join it to the beginning one that you had started with. So that was round number two. So you can see that the front is kind of pulling up and the back is still nice and flat. So let's continue along and let's get rid of any loose ends that we have now and continue on to round number three. So let's carry on to round number three. So we're going to chain up one and we're just gonna single crochet in the same one. So that counts as one of them. So we have to the single crochet in a total of 13. So if that's one of them we have to do the another 12. So let's just say that's one and let's go for two, three, four, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12 and 13. So it says now skip the next single crochet. So let's skip the next one and go to the next one after that. So we're just going to single crochet in the second one over and then we're gonna skip the next one and go to the next one over and we're gonna do that one plus two more in a row. So it'll be a total of three. This is right at the front of the boot. And now we're gonna just do what we just uh, did on the other side. So skipping one, single crochet, then a second one over. Okay, and then we skip one and single crochet the second over and that goes down the other side. So that one uh, plus uh, what we have is there's a total of 12. So that one plus another 11. So let's just say that's one and we're gonna say this is two, three, four, This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once you get that done, just slip stitch to the top of the first one that you started with. So let's take a look at what, where we are now. So you can see the top of the boot is pulling in and the back of the heel where I am right now is still staying open. Let's continue on to round number four. So let's continue on for round number four. This is really gonna do some sucking in right at the very front of the boot. So we're gonna just chain up one and we're gonna do 12 single crochets in a row. 
So let's start with the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So four times in a row we have to do the exact same thing. So we're gonna skip the next one and single crochet in the, another one after that. So that was one of four. Skip the next one, single crochet in the next one after that. So this is two of four. Skip the next one, single crochet in the one after that. That's three of four. Skip the next one. Sorry, skip the next one, single crochet the one after that. That was four of four. But we're not quite done. We're gonna skip the next one after that and then just single crochet our way back to the other side. Okay, so let's, uh, that's a total of 10 in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And just slip stitch it to the top, uh, beginning of the first. So now it's really starting to pull in right at the front. Once you get this done you can start shaping of course. And let's continue on then to round number five which is the final for the very top of this booty. Let's start round number five together. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do one single crochet in the next six. So that includes the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now for the next five in a row you're going to slip stitch it. So just slip. So one, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip one and the next three are gonna be coming three single crochet together. So skipping one, go into the next one, pull through and hold it. Go in the next one, pull through and hold it. And then go into the next one after that, pull through. And you'll have four loops in the hook pull through all four. Skipping the next one you're going to do five slip stitches in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then the remaining stitches that you have left there's gonna be one single crochet each. So there should be five left. So one, two, three, four, and five. Once you get that done just uh, coming into the first one just slip stitch it. I've already cut my yarn and I want you to just pull it up and just using your yarn uh, and just being able to weave those in and we're gonna start with the next top area. We're gonna use the same color as the base but that's up to you what colors you wanna use. So we now have to figure out where to join the next color. Get your stitch marker out and let's do this together. So the very front here you can see that this is the very front stitch when you're just looking down on it. So you wanna get that one plus two of its friends. So one on each side. So one, two, and three. So what I would do is go into the one side and go into the other side leaving the middle one untouched. And all we're just doing is we're marking that stitch so we know where exactly it is. and just pull the stitch marker through it. So when we get to this we know exactly where it is. Sometimes it's easier to mark your stitches in advance than it is to be able to fight it as you go. So we look at the instructions and then it says to um, put stitches together in order to make things work. So what you can just do is that you can count 10. So we crochet in this direction as we're going all the way around, right? So I want you to count and right where we're putting these three together we wanna count from the next one after that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So the 10th is here. It should be on the back of the heel but this is a way to verify that that's true as well. So now this is where you're going to join the next color and when we get there we're gonna put those three together and we're just gonna do some single crochets. We wanna also play in the back loops as well to make that very clear too. So let's begin right where I've got it. I wanna just go into the back loop of that same one and I wanna pull through. And we're just gonna do single crochets together or sorry single crochets all the way around. So chain up one and do one single crochet in the back loop and keep going in the back loops until you get to that stitch marker which I've already told you. So if you're not gonna use a stitch marker it was a total of 10. 
So make sure you get all of the plies. It makes a difference. And just keep going around. Now if your slip stitching was too tight it's gonna be harder to get into but I've got enough experience that it's not that tight. So the slips are the back loops in, the back loops are giving it the, the nice line appearance that you want right in the, the visual look. So the next one is the last one before it, the three come in a row. Okay so the next three that you have with the stitch marker you are going to put those together. So just going into the continuing into the back loop. This one's a bit tighter than the others. So, so then go into the back loop, go into the back loop of the middle one. And then go into the back loop of the last one here. Now that you have it marked just pull out that stitch marker it's easy, easier and then pull through all four loops. And now just continuing to go around again the back loops all the way back to the start. So I'll leave that with you and then you'll see me back here in just a moment. And let's verify our counts as well. Okay once you get all the way back around just slip stitch it to the top of the first single crochet. So that's what it looks like now and then we're gonna carry on then to round number two. So rounds two and three are both identical. Just chain up one and just do one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. There's a total of 22 stitches. Please do that for this round plus the next round and then as you come all the way around just slip stitch to the top of the beginning single crochet. So there's two rounds of just single crochet one in each and I'll see at the end of those two rounds now. Okay so now my two rounds are done of that nice and easy. So in the next round we're gonna start increasing a little bit because the boots always get a little bit bigger at the top. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do one two single crochets into the first one. So one and two and then you want to do then the next 11 in a row just single crochets. So one, two, three, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and you're close to the front which is good and then there's gonna be two single crochets in the next one. So one and two. So then you're just gonna uh, single crochet yourself back to the very beginning. There should be a total of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. I have all this written down. I'm not that smart. So you're just going to just uh, slip stitch to the beginning single crochet and now for the next three rounds it's gonna be very simple. So just chain up one and just do one single crochet in each for the next three rounds and then just keep joining it when you get back around. So three rounds of just single crochets and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So now that those uh, three rounds are complete you can see it's really quite fabulous and uh, if you want to grow it up any taller that you can just add a few more rounds of single crochet. But now we're ready to continue then to create the top of the boot. So we're just going to then just chain up one and we're gonna do one single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And I want you to do a uh, half double crochet in the next and then four ha uh, double crochets in the next. So one, so it's just in the same one, two, three, and four. Okay and then I want you to do half double crochet in the next and then the next eight in a row are just single crochets. So this is gonna get to the, to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you can see you kind of rotated around. The next one is a half double crochet. The next one is four double crochets in a row or into the same one. So one, two, three, 
and four. Next one is a half double crochet and then the remaining that's left they're each gonna be one single crochet each. So one, two, three, four and five and then just go to the first one and I want you then just to slip stitch it and then that's it. So you can see that the uh, side here has the raise up like it would in a boot and then fasten off and we're gonna just use this main color here to just to do the top trim. So let's put the final trim on. Just go to the back one. It doesn't really matter for your stitch counts. We just gotta pay attention to the tops of these humps that we have right here. So we're just going to then fasten on and we're going to then uh, chain two and it doesn't count as a stitch and go into the same one and I want you to half double crochet. So you're going to half double crochet one into each with the exception of the two middle double crochets that are in the top of the hump and I'll get there in just a moment. So just half double crochet one in each. So the ones that have the four in the middle uh, double crochets, the two middle ones I want you to put in two half double crochets into the same one. Okay, so that these two right in the middle put in two half double crochets into each one and two and then go into the next one, one and two and then just continue to half double crochet one into each until you get to the other hump and then the middle one of the group of four, the middle two of the group of four you're just gonna put two half double crochets in each. So that kind of gives you the, your nice trim work. So you have the options to either put um, decorations on the side of your boots if you want to and that's really quite easy. It's just chain work and then you just kind of sew it into position or you could leave it as is. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you on how you wanna complete your final look and if you have other designs that you would like to put on there or even cross stitching that's completely up to you as well. So then coming around to the other one, the middle two uh, double crochets will be two half double crochets this time around and then once you get that done just continue to one half double crochet and get yourself all the way back to the very beginning. Join it with the slip stitch and then fasten off and let's cover the decorations just to make sure that we've got everything complete for today. So let's cover how to do that other decoration. So you just leave an extra long tail before you start the slip knot or slips, yeah, the slip knot and then you wanna chain a total of 18. So you can do different types of chains if you want to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Now when you get the eighteenth one, leave an extra long tail. You're gonna use that to sew it into position. So an extra long tail and just pull it up like so and then just take the other side and just tighten it. So using the extra long tails what you wanna do is wanna get your booty up and you're going to put in your, your kind of decoration and you can just do kind of uh, interesting things like this. And remember it's kind of handmade so you wanna be very careful with uh, how you wanna do it. So you wanna make sure it's nice and affixed on. So what I would do is just put one of the tails on to a darning needle like so and then just go down and then just go through the project to the other side and then back out and just hitting, sorry, just hitting the, the middle section here and you just don't, you just wanna grab it so you just wanna make sure it keeps its shape as you're going all the way around. So once it crosses over each other you can go between both of the layers. Now there might be ways of putting on these ribbons that mean something. I, I'm not a cowboy. I don't really know. I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> but it's important to get your shape right now before you get too far into it. And go right to the, 
end. So I kind of got that turn going in and I can kind of fluff it up if I want to. And now I'm just gonna go to the inside of it just so I can access it and I'm just gonna drag it through some fibers on this side. Remember the secret to dragging through is three. So you're just gonna go once, go through a different set of fibers, twice, and a different set for three times. If you go the exact same path then it will never catch. Do that. Now you still have that last tail left. Okay, so you're just gonna put that onto a darning needle. The whole thing has been sewn into position. So you're just gonna take that one and then just pop it through the back and then just secure that to the back. Okay. And then just come into the back and just secure it back and forth three times. So one, two and because it's for a baby you don't wanna leave any tails in at all. Okay, once you get that done three times as a charm. Okay, so one side of the booty will have nothing on it. If you wanna have decorations on both sides uh, you can do that but if you want to just leave it on one side as well. So you know you just wanna take your time, get that all in and until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Have a good one, we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.